M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Quan Sheng UV5R model with the modified firmware. Now this is the link I recommend. It's the latest release, November 2023, and you can do this just using your browser. You will need a UV5R cable. They're only four pound on Amazon. Going back to the browser software, it's so much easier because you don't have to download anything. Click flash with browser here will open up a new window now you may have to reload this a couple of times because it uploads the latest bin which is 19 who knows soon it'll be 20 and if all's well you've got the cable connected to your pc in the normal way and the twin pin cable connected to the uv5r and this does work with the k5 and k6 model as well next thing you want to do is get your radio into firmware mode by holding down the ptt and turning the radio on. Now if that doesn't happen whilst the cable's connected, you can take the cable off and then do it. There you go. And that's worked that time. Now it's just a matter of selecting flash firmware, but first of all, let's see what COM port number we've got. We'll right click, device manager, and double click COM port, and USB serial is showing as COM number nine, just here at the bottom. You don't need a special cable, you'd need a UV5R cable, and it just works. Okay, now let's click flash firmware, because the firmware has been uploaded now. There is a selection here on the right, where you can actually download the bin file, which is the same thing from your PC, but we don't need to do that because it's uploaded it to this flasher. So let's click, click flash firmware, select USB serial com, now says paired, and then as soon as we hit connect, it will load that firmware and it will load it very quick. And yes, this firmware does allow you to go on to 27 megahertz, 28 megahertz, AM USB it applies a fix for airband so the airband audio is a lot better it's not perfect but it's very very usable it actually sounds quite good uh, there's a band scope and many many other functions that you're going to enjoy and there's quite a learning curve to this but that's worked you can see the radios rebooted and with the UV5R model it's got that lovely blue so we just unplug the cable now I'll give you just a quick overview on, on what it does. I've made many videos on this. So first thing is to get yourself into VFO mode, press F, then three. We're now in memory mode. So if you press F, then three again, that's VFO. The volume works and you can type the frequency as normal. There you go. Now, if you want to see some of the, the new features, because at the moment, to change the mode, you have to go into the menu, which is menu. And there are 60 selections. And see at the bottom, it says 1.60 on the bottom left. It's actually number one. And I think it's because there's 60 choices, I think. So as you scroll down, you can see the step, the power, CT, CSS, but one of them is the mode. And it's actually called the, you've got wide and narrow, I think it's called the, yeah, there is that demodulator mode. You can press M and then you can select AM USB. We'll leave it in AM. One that you will want to do is 36. You can dial the number of the menu item 36. That's your backlight. You can turn that on and 56 is a good one because that one there is the AM fix will improve the AM audio. So let's exit out of that and show you the band scope. So with the band scope, press F, then five. And you're now in band scope. Now, if you can't hear anything, press the, I'll press the scan and hold the scan now. It takes the squelch up, so that makes it quieter. If I hold the F again, it will take the squelch down. Effectively, it's like a band scope squelch spectrum squelch let's call it now to go straight into receive you can just press the ptt now so the functions are different when you're when you've gone into these advanced features press the ptt 
and you've got the ability now with the M to just move around these selections here and you can change the parameters of these. Now it's hard to read in this video but it does say IF and also L, I think it's LMA, my, my eyesight's not great, you can see the, the signal meter there, power and the steps. Now you can change mode by just pressing the zero. See the zero? We're going to go AM and USB. We can cycle through and I, with one of the other buttons, can't remember which, I think you can change the step as well. Let's have a look. I'm just pressing everything at the moment. Ah, right, okay, let's, let's just show you what that is. So if you press five, you get these lines. Now you can start to type a frequency, but you do have to put in the dot as well. So you'll go say two, seven. The dot is actually the scan button, the little star. Then type the other frequent, you know, the other numbers. And you don't have to complete it, and then just press the M. And you're now on that frequency, 27, and you can scan up and down with the arrows, like so. So have a play. If you look at the keypad at the front, there's clues there to what, what's what. Like number six, if you hold that, if we come out completely of that. If you hold number six, this is back into the normal window, you can actually show your frequency and your memory at the same time um, when, you're, when you select memory mode, which is F. Three. We're now in memory mode. I know that that one hasn't been programmed. You can program channels using the radio. There you are. There's some that I have done using the software, and the software does work. Uh, let's have a look now. It says GB3FI. So if I try and find the selection menu, and go down to the selection that is called display. Thirty-three. When we go menu change that to frequency and name, select with the M, then exit. And now we get to see GB3FI and the frequency. So it's very good. And you can select, you've got the battery percentage there showing. Uh, we are in, in memory mode. I mean, it's a very extensive menu. I advise you just go through it and try things out. M many, half, the, half of these selections I don't recognize. I'll find the manual, so the manual will explain every single setting. Many things can be changed just from the front of the radio. You've got a built-in torch. If you want to put on your broadcast radio, press F, then zero. You have to come out of the menu, F zero. You've got, sometimes you can just hold the zero, yeah. Yeah, you can, you can just hold the zero with that. You can hold the, let's try holding the six. Yeah, it's changing the power. Holding the five. Can you see anything obvious there? Can't see anything obvious on that one. Maybe the step. Oh, frequency scanner. So now if there's a radio nearby transmitting it, will pick it up, which is done straight away. Probably my hotspot. You've got the exit button. It says Vox, lock. I'm sure I've missed out many things. You've got function buttons here that are programmable. You can connect to, you know, your usual headphones, ETC. It's a fantastic device. This one actually hasn't got the USB-C charging. It has got this big chunky battery which fits all of the UK UV cables, but it hasn't got the US, USB-C. I'm not really sure why. And these are actually selling really cheap now, these ones, uh, for only a few pounds, like 15 pounds. I do like the blue screen, but I've got quite a few of these lying around. So thanks for watching my channel. Please, uh, please remember to like and subscribe and catch you on air. I'm always on Hubnet 7.3. All the best.